Covina, beautiful, 95 degrees at kickoff. Yes, 95 degrees at kickoff. Chino Hills comes into the stadium. West Covina, the home team, and they're home red. They would start off with the ball, kicking off to Chino Hills. Chino Hills' first drive, and Matt Simco throws an interception, giving West Covina some life. They would not do anything on that possession. Chino Hills gets the ball back. This is Louis Napoli coming right into your face. Takes it all the way down to the 25-yard line for West Covina. A few plays later, it's Matt Simcoe to Jack Austin. Six-yard touchdown, 6-0 six Chino Hills Huskies. A little bit later on, Simcoe, they said he can't run. Well, he's going to run right into your living room right there, and he will take that into the end zone. 12-0 Chino Hills. Did not make any extra points. This play right here, Noodles was running around for his life. He gets forced into an interception on this play here, and that would give the ball right back to Chino Hills. And going long is Simcoe to Joseph Lara. Another one of his targets. He's wide open. It's an 18 and nothing lead. Chino Hills a little bit later. They get the ball back holding West Covina on downs. Darren Abakali, tough running into the end zone. Chino Hills rolling away with this game. A little later, right before the half, it's 24 to nothing. A fumble by West Covina, and number 54, Trent Goins, would pick this ball up and run 55 yards for a touchdown. Chino Hills would lead 39 to nothing halftime on the way to a 49 to 14 victory. Win for Chino Hills tonight. It was basically over by halftime. We caught up with head coach Derek Bunn. What do you feel about it? It was a good win. Uh, we played, we've had times of playing good on offense, had times of playing good on defense, tonight we finally put it all together. Uh, guys, we still have some things on special teams to make up, but uh, overall it's a good win. What are you going to take from this week, so the next week we can grade up? We just, we've got to get better each and every week. I mean, obviously this is a good win for us. We're going to celebrate it, and then uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and get back up in the film room tomorrow and uh, see what Great Oak has to offer. We know they're going to be a good football team. Um, they may be 4-5-0 oh, oh, going into this game. Uh, I would expect them. So it's going to be another, uh, another good football game for us on the break. How do you keep these guys motivated, Coach, especially a big lead like that in the first half? What are you really telling them? Anything? You know, I mean, it, we, our, our challenge to the kids is that we got to play four quarters of football. And, and uh, we hadn't done that yet. Uh, we played more, closer to four quarters of football, probably three and a half quarters of football. Um, I was a little upset at the end of the first half there. I thought we gave up some some uh, penalties there. Um, you know, it, there's there's still a lot of room for improvement on both sides of the ball. And we'll make up for it, and we'll, we'll get back at it. Tough loss tonight for the West Covina Bulldogs. Let's talk to head coach. Napoli's or Abok, and I just pull it, and there's a big lane right there. So I just read the defense. Zach Chadwick had an 
interception tonight for the Chino Hills Huskies. Let's hear what he has to say. Uh, this, is, this is a great win overall. Um, past couple of weeks, we've uh, been playing great on offense one week, we're playing great on defense one week. On the other week, um, so we put it all together. We had a great game. Great win for us, but um, we've got to get over it. Um, we've got to get over it next week. Talk about the interception. Uh, well, we practiced it all week. Uh, play action and uh, decided to come across. And uh, I just knew it was coming. I saw Lyman taking their pass, uh, pass drop, so I knew it was coming. Found him and Thank you.